stop using the dynamic zoom right now So it's Sunday today and I'm editing a client's video and I've noticed that I'm doing a lot of zooming in, zooming out, and I barely use the dynamic zoom. So what exactly I'm doing? Well, let's take a look at this exact uh, clip. So here he's talking to the camera, describing something, turning around, pointing with his hand and then turning back to the camera. So here we're going to zoom in and then zoom back out. Now, why I say this is the proper way to zoom in? Well, basically because here you have the option to add motion blur. So what you wanna do is go into the effects panel, grab yourself an adjustment clip, trim it to where you wanna start and end the effect. With the adjustment clip selected, go into the fusion page, then add in a transfer node, and let's start keyframing here. You have only the clip that's underneath the adjustment clip. This is why we needed the adjustment clip. Go into the first frame, add keyframes for the center, the pivot and the size. Go to exactly where his hand starts moving and add keyframes as well. Then go right where his arm is fully extended. It's not fully extended, but this is where this motion ends. Then zoom in and adjust the center to exactly where you want to be. Then keep these uh, values until he starts to turn his head, which I think is about here. Add in keyframes and over here, around here, he has fully turned his head. And now we will make changes to the values. And then from here where he starts talking, I'm going to add a few frames again and go all the way at the end and set everything, everything to normal. Let's check it out. Cool. But right now it's a little bit robotic and uh, no motion blur yet. Did I do something wrong? No. First, you're going to open the spline window, which will help us smooth things out. Check the transform box, hit the fit to zoom. Over here, you have a few points. From this point to this point, it indicates that we have changes to the value over time. This is basically what a keyframe is. And we need these to be selected and we simply press S on the keyboard, which will smooth them out. We can also use these handles right here. So let's do this to all of the keyframes where we have a significant change. We don't want to smooth these out. Okay, let's check it out. And for the motion blur, go to settings, motion blur. Here, six looks good for me and most of my use cases. 10 is definitely gonna work for sure, but I like to take it easy with the motion blur. Keep in mind that this is pretty heavy on your processor, so be careful with that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Go nuts on the subscribe button, like. Press it. Don't press it again because you will unsubscribe. But yeah, go. Go for it.